Welcome to the Utunity Replicate demonstration. My name is Richard Thomas. I'll be your host during this brief video demonstration. We're going to take a look at a very powerful, simple, high-performance data replication tool that moves the data that moves your business. We want to be able to attack those critical business needs from real-time business intelligence, operational reporting, query offloading, data distribution. There's many facets of the critical needs that an enterprise faces today that replication addresses. We want to be able to do it with a game-changing technology that is simplistic to use, highly scalable, very powerful. It redefines the way replication can be done in your organization. Simply click to design, zero footprint technology with a low cost of ownership. What we want to be able to do is automate every aspect of data replication in your organization from defining the source and target databases and the schemas that they'll be dealing with and include data definition language replication. We want to be able to generate everything from target to source. Included in that, generate the snapshot or the full load to establish the data warehouse, data mart, and then immediately as that's going on, put in place log-based change data capture to fully round out total table rec replication. Quick contact information, I'll revisit that again. So now let's move over to the demonstration. I'm going to go straight into the tool. What I want to do is define a new task. I already have a few done. So the idea being is, is I'm going to establish a task where I'm going to just demo taking Oracle data and replicating it to SQL Server. At this point, I've just defined a task. You can have many different tasks to do that. As we said, we want to just literally click to replicate. So I'm going to grab a source database. I've gone ahead and predefined my Oracle data source, and I've predefined my SQL Server data source. At this point, I've established what I'm capable of reading from and where I want to put it to. But I haven't established tables at this point. So I have many different schemas available to me, depending on my security levels and everything done. But I just want to work with the HR. At this point, I can establish the database tables that I want to include in replication. At this point, I'm going to wildcard. So anything that's inside the HR schema, any new tables that will come in would be picked up. We also have the idea and the concept of excluding. It may be simpler to say what you don't want versus what you do want, but you have many different levels of filtration that you can do at establishing what the tables are going to be. So right now I want to handle it in a very simplistic, dynamic way that if new tables come in, I have them available to me. At this point, once I've established the tables, um, I can show a full list of what's available out there. And if I wanted to, I could start looking at transforming or filtration at this point, reestablishing what I want to do with the tables, from changing the names, the types. There's a whole list of things that you can do in flight, transformation and filtration, both at the table and data level. But at this point, I want to get on to replicating. Simply go over to my task and start replication. At this point, a lot of things are going to get done. We create the target database if we need to. We establish the tasks that we need to work with. This is going to include tasks that handle the full load, as I mentioned before, and the change data capture to fully complete the data replication that we want to do. So we're going to build all of the components. In the past, the arduous task for many organizations of dealing with replication, now I'm in writing a lot of scripts. I'm having to get on to my target system. I'm having to get on to my source system. All of that is avoided. Replication in today's modern world should be very simplistic to handle. So now that I once I get all of the components designed, get them built, I'm going to get into the main loop and I'm going to establish and I'm going to start to run this. So immediately full load is taken. It starts finding all of the available tables that we have established in our schema definition. We're going to get all of this done. Now for today's demonstration, I'm simply going ahead and recording all of this on my laptop to give a sense to everyone what it takes to establish in, with Replicate. As you see, it's already launched itself. It's working in a full load. It's already completed some of that. Full load is already completed at this point. I have everything done. I now want to immediately, and as you can see, have established and moved into changes. Now, I have not put any changes out there on my Oracle source database. I got a little test app that allows me to just automate and do some of these things. Whether I want to increase the salary, decrease the salary, insert 
job history, maybe some additional job history. So I've got a lot of activity that's going on. And as we can already see, let me kind of clear myself out of the way, let me minimize that. Now that I put all the activity, we can start to see all of the inserts, the updates, everything moving through. We've got change data capture in flight, fully working at this point. We talked about the fact that I might want to um, add a column. So that's the DDL change. So I've changed the metadata and what's going on in there. Let's minimize that again. And as we see, the DDL change has already gone through. So we have already completely, in a very simplistic mode, have full end-to-end -end replication established and quick to replicate. We're moving the data that moves your business. Stay tuned. We plan on writing and putting out more short videos to show you how to do more advanced features within the Attunity Replicate product. For contact information, again, you can find us at www.attunity.com, email, or find us at LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube. We look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you.